Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna just compare those uh, old photos, uh, and this time is in the capture one. Previously, I compared these two set of photos in the Lightroom already, but since I'm using the capture one, uh, I want to see the difference between the Sony files and the Fuji files. So the um, if you like to download a trial version, you can go to the description and then use my link to download and to support my channel. Yeah, thanks so much. And let's get started. So this uh, this one is the ARW Sony A73 file, and this one is RAF uh, Fujifilm XT3 file, 23mm f 1.4. So this one was shot at 1.8 because the ring was um, was uh, accidentally moved. Uh, and this one is f 2.2. You can see the difference. This one I I put it back to the 1.4. So anyways, uh, this one is a size, um, size uh, 35mm f1.4 lens. So um, right out of the bat, um, the rendering of the Sony file without applying extra sharpness, this is the default one, um, is already very sharp. And um, let me go to the Fuji. So the Fuji has still have something. So let me do a quick uh, run of the sharpening process uh, because this this area is in focus so let me just do some sharpness uh, in front this area right here um, let me just do a layer and you can name it uh, sharpness and then i can just do a grid view side by side of that uh, later on you can uh, see it if I select two files side by side, but uh, for now, let me edit the picture first. So, I'm gonna press the M. Oh, let me undo the um, that one. and then press the M. So uh, basically I'm trying to get the um, area of the in focus plane to be sharper. So we can do it this way. And since other areas are our focus, that's fine. Uh, we can leave it. So for now, we can do it this way and then apply the sharpening among in it. Yeah, so I'm gonna add 180 to this one. Radius, you can see that the biggest, uh, the bigger the radius, the stronger. So I'm gonna Put it around 0 0.7. Um, threshold is also make it sharper if it's zero. Um, you can make it around 0 0.3 to 0 0.5. So now, now let me show you the before and after. Oh, let me undo that. So that's before and after. Yep, it's much sharper already. And um, there's a luminance. You can update the luminance, but uh, this is the layer. You can keep it like that for now. So um, after I updated the Fuji file, um, I can do a quick update on that um, on the um, Sony file as well. But let me. Just do some quick um, update of the uh, brightness also just to match the Sony file and the highlights save. Just some quick um, match to match that on this. So this one, um, the file, uh, we need to reduce the highlight save a little bit more. 
exposure reduce a little bit brightness okay so let's do the same sequence and then check out um, so I can just call the same light sharpness so that it's easier to manage we can um, do the let me do the uh, M so because it's around the front area we can do the similar style um, let me just make sure yep the front so let's make sure the front is uh, has a sharp effect okay so um, that's good let me do the I'm back so let's add some sharpness let's see so once I add the sharpness it's even stronger sometimes it might be too much also you can see that if I add a lot it might be too much because the Sony file it was already very sharp so threshold Yep, first of all, I just leave it around there already. The bigger the radius, the sharper, but it's uh, very strong at the end. So I am leave it at 0 0.1, 0 0.4. So, and then um, let me go back here and then contrast. So this is the zero exposure. Let me reduce a little bit. Adjust the white a little bit also. And then the brightness reduce a little bit. Okay, so let me do a before and after. It might be too strong. Sometimes uh, you can um, reduce it back a little bit you can see that it's uh, too strong on the skin so um, either that or you can just do a sharpening on the eyes only if you don't want to do it on the skin and uh, that's what you can do also so just uh, different preference but um, what I'm gonna do is reduce the amount a little bit more Yep. So just a little bit uh, of that, and then uh, I'm gonna do is um, hold it this one. So I'm holding down the shift key just to check it out this one. So let me undo that. just about the same frame but um, yeah so you can just uh, compare the sharpening logic on these two the full frame sensor and this one this one might be too strong for me um, I might need to reduce the um, so what I'm gonna do is I don't do uh, this sharpness so what we can do is um, we don't apply the sharpness and it's still uh, pretty sharp if I apply here or we can do um, erase so let me see if I just do the height uh, sharpness
yeah so if you don't want the skin getting too sharp and you can just erase that and then leave the just the, the mouth and the eyes area you can do the other way around select the skin uh, select the skin tone and then do the sharpness also so just a different style if you want to try out so right now I'm just trying different things uh, so let me update that and then so in this case that's an example if you don't want the skin over sharpening you can just select one area and then just sharpen it uh, sharpening the um, the area only and oh let me so let me click this one and then fuji file and the other one you can do is uh, you can change the opacity also um, just to have uh, uh, maybe 60 percent apply also you can do it that way also instead of uh, erasing you can just reduce the amount of the uh, opacity also like maybe just 50 percent sharpness you can just see the difference but um for the fuji file um i can just apply this and maybe if i add one more adjustment layer and then if i just um do it very small just on the eye it's good too so if you just want to make it even sharper on the eye area so let me press the m just to double check where's the eye okay so in that case you can control that area sharpness as well so and then when you look far away it's good too so yeah um even though it's the fuji frame the crop sensor uh, after a couple edits and it compares to the uh, capture one it's still looking very good like it can compete with the full frame um, in terms of the sharpness for the xt3 uh, sensor and um, if you shoot raw you have more capability of the uh, capture one uh, to do the rendering and do the sharpening so it i think it understands the sensor logic better so again if you want to try it out for free with full features in the capture one for 30 days you can just use my uh, link in the description below so if you help uh, my channel also if you help support my channel yeah thank you so much for watching this uh, quick comparison um, just two um, similar location but two different lenses and just to see uh, what's the difference when they render both uh, Sony file and the Fuji file both are in the um, in the system like in the capture one instead of the Lightroom so just a quick um, update for that and thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up bye